Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you are healthy. I want to start listen. Please watch this video about investigate uh, observing cells. Preparing onion microscope slides. You will need the following materials. A microscope, a microscope camera, microscope slides, a kitchen knife, toothpicks, pipettes, cover slips, iodine tincture, an onion, and a cutting board. Preparing the slides. First, wash and peel the onion. Then, slice the onion as thin as possible. I found that using the thin layer of skin around the onion worked best. Clean your microscope slide with an alcohol wipe. Do the same with the cover slip. Place your pieces of onion onto the slide and reposition them with a toothpick. Add a drop of iodine onto the onion. Drop on the cover slip. Apply pressure to the cover slip, but not enough to break it. Now your slide is complete. Now observe under a microscope. You will be able to see the cell wall and the nuclei of the onion cells. The onion's rigid cell walls allow the cells to be viewed under a microscope, and the iodine dyes the nucleus red, allowing it to be seen. Thanks for watching. Preparing. Okay. The first subject, Unit One, Chapter One, Lesson One, Page Eighteen. Subject: Cells. The discovery of cells. The microslide and reviewer to observe parts of plant and animals under magnification. You can see. Uh, cells by microscope, but you can't see cells without microscope. The first microscope were invented in the early 1600s. Uh, One scientist who built and used an early microscope was Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke, he is, has found the microscope for the first time. If I question who is who is the scientist that found cells or that found microscope for the first time, you can answer me, Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke, one scientist who built and used an early microscope, was Robert Hooke. In 1665, who observed a thin slice of cock through a microscope for the first time found of the cells Robert Hook. Robert Hook, 1665, recorded his observation of cock cells. The tiny walled spaces he saw in the cock reminded him of tiny aromas. So he called uh, themselves over the next 
200 years, scientists learned more and more about cells. After 200 years, the definition of cell established cell is the basic unit of structure and function of all living things. What is the definition of the cell? Cell is the basic unit of structure and function of all living things, as you have studied earlier in the fourth grade. If I question why were cells not observed before the 1600s, you can answer me. The first microscope were invented in the early 1600s. 1838, Matisse Leiden determined that every plant is made up of cells. Matisse Leiden, he is the German scientist, uh, studied about plant, uh, plant structures. He concluded that all par uh, plant parts were made up of cells. But 1839, Theodor Schwann concluded that animals are also made up of cells. Theodor Schwann, he is, for the first time, the determinant of the uh, parts of the animal cells. Okay, my student is another subject, page 19, kinds of cells. Scientists have classified about a million kinds of plants and animals. But as different as these plants and animals seem to be, all of them are made up of cells. Then we have two kinds of cells. Number one, simplest organisms. Another name, simplest organisms, single cell. Single cell is made up of only one cell. Example about single cell, Paramecium, amoeba, bacteria, yeasts, euglena. These are in, in the group of single cell or simplest organisms because they are made up of only one cell. But many cell is made up of trillions of cells. Example about many cell, human, animal, plant. Each kind of cell has a particular function. The size and shape of a cell depend on its function. Example, red blood cells are small and disc-shaped. They can easily fit through their small blood vessels. But the muscle cells are long, uh, are long and thin. When they contract or shorten, they produce movement. Also, plant cells, different kinds of cells. Some cell, plant cells dig in water from the soil. Other cells uh, protect the plant and still others make food. The skin cells of the plant's leaves keep it from losing too much water. Cells work together, perform ba a basic life process that keep an organism alive. This process including releasing energy from food, getting rid of body wastes, and making new cells for growth and repair. Question, why might bone cells be different from muscle cells? The, this question have two answers. You can answer me because they have different functions. Another answer to this question, you can answer me. Each kind of cell has a particular function. Same means don't difference. Look at pictures about different kinds of cells in the human, different types of cells in the plant, and different types of cells in the animal. Each cell have a specific shape and function and size. Okay, my pupils, another subject, page 24, tissues, organs, and systems. How your body organs how your body organization, your body organization, similar cells work together to form tissue. Similar tissue work together to form organs. Organs work together to form system. 
cells that work together to perform a specific function from a tissue. There are four kinds of tissue in humans. What are the four kinds of tissue in humans? Number one, muscle tissue. Number two, nervous tissue. Number three, connective tissue. Number four, epithelial tissue. Muscle tissue is made up of cells that contract when they receive signals from the brain. The contraction or relaxation of muscle tissue move the circulation. We have three types of muscle tissue. Smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle. But nervous tissue, nervous tissue, the brain are spinal or core as well as the places where sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch begin are all the nervous and all are all nervous tissue. But connective tissue is the third kind of tissue. It includes the tissue in bones, cartilage, and tendons. Also, blood is a connective is a connective tissue. This type is of connective tissue. Bone connective tissue different from blood connective tissue, cartilage tissue, cart cartilage connective tissue. And number four, the final kind of tissue, epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue includes the body covering. The body covering it also lines most internal organs. These are epithelial tissue. Number one, muscle tissue. Number two, nervous tissue. This is nervous tissue under the microscope. And types of connective tissue and epithelial tissue. Similar tissue, similar tissue, similar tissue that work together to get that form organs, organs. Example about organs, liver, brain, lungs, stomach, small intestine, heart, these are kidney, these are example about organs. Organ that work to get to perform a function from a system. Example about system. This is body system, circulatory system, and respiratory system. Digestive system. Okay, my people, as another subject, page 28, human body system is from cells to system. The tissues you observe, observed in the previous, uh, previous investigation combine in various ways to form body organs. Certain organs work together uh, to form body systems. If I question how do body systems depend on each other, the answer of this question each body system has a specific task that helps keep you alive. Or another answer, you can. Uh, cells work together to form tissues. Tissues work together to form organs. Organs work together to form systems. And systems work together to keep you alive. For example, the digestive system breaks down food into nutrients that the body needs for energy. But without the circulatory system, the nutrients couldn't travel to the parts of the body that need them. The circulatory system also deals with the oxygen needed to release energy from food. However, without the respiratory system, oxygen couldn't get into the circulatory system. And all body process produce waste that must be removed the excretory and respiratory systems. Share this function with transpiration provided by the circulatory system.
Another subject, page 29, the circulatory system. What is the function of the circulatory system? Transports oxygen, nutrients, and waste through the body in the blood. We have two parts of the blood, liquid part of the blood and solid part of the blood. The liquid part of the blood include plasma. Plasma is the liquid, of the, uh, is the liquid part of blood. What is the contain in the plasma? The contain in the plasma, number one, dissolved nutrients, number two, waste products, followed with products carbon dioxide. But white blood cells and red blood cells, these are solid part of the blood. What is the function of red blood cells? Red blood cells, the function of red blood cells, Absorb oxygen from air in the lungs and transport it to every cell in the body. But white blood cells, the function white blood cells, help the body fight infection. Help the body fight infection. Destroy bacteria that enter the body. And what are the platelets? Platelets, tiny pieces of blood cells inside membrane. Platelets, white blood cells, plasma inside the blood vessels. Why are platelets important? The answer of this question, platelets cause blood to clot when there is an injury. Number two, help repair damage to blood vessels. Heart is a heart the major organs of the circulatory system. Heart is the major organs of the circulatory system. Heart, the function heart is the pompous blood, pompous blood through the body, pompous the blood through the body. Heart is a muscle tissue, is a muscle tissue. Heart have four chamber, four chambers. Each chamber have valves. Oxygen rich blood from the lungs enters one chamber. It moves to the next chamber from which it is pumped to the body. Oxygen poor blood from the body enters the third chamber. It moves to the fourth chamber from which it it is pumped to the longest. What is the capillaries? Capillaries are blood vessels so small. Capillaries, oxygen and nutrient diffuse from the blood into cells through the capillaries walls. The total length of the capillary in an adult human is more than 80,000 kilometers. But the heart beats all the time, pushing the blood into arteries. You can feel the push as a pull in the artery in your wrist. What are the difference between arteries and veins? Arteries, blood leaves the heart through blood vessels called arteries. But veins return blood to the heart. Veins return blood to the heart. This is venous, but arteries, blood leaves the heart. Blood leaves the heart. This picture of the capillaries, capillaries, are blood vessels so small. Please watch this video about the circulatory system. You can feel your heart thudding away every time you put your hand to your chest. But do you have any idea what's really going on in there or what keeps your heart ticking as it should? Every day, your heart beats about 100,000 times, sending 2,000 gallons of blood surging through your body. Although it's no bigger than your fist, your heart has the mighty job of keeping the blood flowing through 60,000 miles of blood vessels.
that feed your organs and tissues. Food, water and oxygen are essential for the existence of human life. Blood transports all these substances through various channels called blood vessels. Blood vessels involves arteries, veins, capillaries, to keep the blood flowing throughout our body. We have a pumping system, and the heart is the pump, which is composed of muscle that pumps blood throughout the body, beating approximately 72 times per minute of our lives. The human heart has four chambers. The right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. There are four valves in the heart. These valves are tricuspid valve, mitral valve, aortic valve, pulmonic valve. These valves are one-way valves. Now, you have seen the structure of the heart. Let us find out how it works. The blood becomes oxygen rich by absorbing oxygen in the lungs. The function of the heart starts when oxygenated blood is carried from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart by means of the pulmonary veins. The left atrium relaxes, this blood is pumped into the heart. When the left atrium contracts, the left ventricle relaxes simultaneously. The left atrium pushes the blood into the left ventricle through the one-way valve. When the left ventricle contracts, the blood is pumped into the aorta, which carries oxygenated blood to the different parts of the body, except the lungs. Oxygenated blood reaches the different parts of the body through the blood vessels called the arteries. The arteries gets branched into capillaries, which then reaches to the different organs of the body. The blood then becomes deoxygenated, and the blood capillaries gets mixed and form thicker blood vessels called the veins. The veins carry deoxygenated blood to the heart. The blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood to heart are known as the vena cava. The deoxygenated blood from different parts of body enters the upper right chamber of the heart, which is called the right atrium. The right atrium gets contracted, allowing the blood to flow into the right ventricle, which contracts with the expansion of the right atrium through the one-way valve. The right ventricle then contracts, pushing the blood into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. The lungs oxygenate the blood by exchanging of gases and flows back into the heart through the pulmonary vein and starts the circulatory cycle all over again. Okay, my pupils, I hope it was a useful lesson. See you. Goodbye.